It's open. Hey, so about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Could be that she's after those Shinra bounties. <sighs> you know, you might be right about that. Little punk blowing smoke up our asses. Ought to give her a piece of my mind. I should have uh, done the autograph I thing. I them slipping away one by one, and the tighter I held on, the more I lost. I know. I felt the same. It was like they were sucking them straight out of my head. And the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing. Only that something is. Like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, you seen them lately? <laughs> Cloud. Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Red. Thought it was someone else. Nope. I'll clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. I see that weapon box. I want it. Come in. Impressive scepter. Those are no, no longer linked. But I can add a different material though. Um. Feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that, not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? The church, right? Oh, so close. That was the second time. Oh, yeah. Right. No! That was fun, wasn't it? Hopping from roof to roof together like that? Where do you think those guys in black went? We should have seen them by now. I swear I fell through the roof of a church. Yes. This town reeks of fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. We'll manage. <laughs> it feels like I have fish bones in my nose. Dude, that's not enough time to make the correct decision. timing I was just about to come find you yeah I <sighs> you regret what I said in calm oh come in
I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? Only person from the village I remember is you. Huh? Oh. Okay then. <laughs> His family owned the general store. Right. Anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... <sighs> You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? <laughs> Night. Okay, we don't need any more lightning materia. We don't need any more. Bad form. You're reefing on your neck. Hands at the temples. Come on in, guys. Hey. the gang's all here it's time you got to know me my name is Yuffie materia hunter and elite ninja operative for the interim Wutai government I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with okay <laughs> Wutai brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats. I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that low. I resent that. <laughs> Although, that is something we do. Traveling alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. 
And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess! <sighs> Just spit it out already. Who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out... Oh, wow. Tell us more. Mm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, gotta hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this was fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. Now, now! You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it! Who's that? A pain in the ass. Let's go. Amen. Honestly, how long do you intend to keep me waiting? Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if by fate, the Speed Demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith game for Uh, me? You come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. <laughs> you got some weird friends, man. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. Since you clearly don't have anything better to do, think I could put you to work? The remainder of your bounty. I need it delivered to someone. I've already got a porter picked out, too. This here is Salmon. Since he'll be the one making the drop, it's your job to get him there safe. Doesn't seem like too much of a hassle, but 
Who exactly is this money for? My son. Haven't seen him in a spell. Not since he left town. And never looked back. This gills me washing my hands of him. He's a grown man. Can't be clinging to his mom's skirts. Or her pocketbook. The crow's nest. Boy got sick of living under this steel sky. And my thumb, I suppose. So he went into the mountains way east of here. Found some more like-minded idiots. Kinda sad, if I'm being honest. If you're gonna run away, at least go somewhere interesting. Don't half-ass it. Much obliged. Once you make it to the crow's nest, find Toby. He'll make sure you get the reward I promised. But if I find a single hair out of place on Sam, you won't live to enjoy it. You keep my boy safe. The inauguration parade is gonna... So far. Do what I have to walk there? Yes. Games Chocobo Express! Oh. May go back to the previous era area, the grasslands, and clear up some stuff so I can get some of that sweet materia. Might do it on my own time though. to get you is gonna have to go through me. Hey Cloud, remind me, how old were you when you left home? Fourteen. Wait, it was spring, so... Thirteen. Suppose that ain't too unusual for small town boys like you. What'd your mom have to say? Not much. Didn't try to stop me. Like you said, nothing unusual about it, but... But? 2,000 gil. She offered me that. To make a fresh start. <laughs> Guess moms are the same all over. I turned the money down, though. Didn't need it, since I was planning to enlist straight away. <laughs> but you still can't help setting your price at two grand. Sentimental, <laughs> Don't overdo it. I'll show you what I can do. You'll be blown away. Blown away. I wonder if I should take a chocobo. Buzz off. 
Okay, hear me out. What? Know how some parents stop their kids from leaving the nest, claiming it's too soon or they're not ready? Any excuse to keep them at home. What about it? Love the parents are like that, but I told myself I'd be different. I'd never keep my little girl from flying. I don't want to clip her wings. I want her to soar. <laughs> I hear you scoffing. You think I can't do it? You think I'll keep her all to myself? Oh, yeah. And that's what scares me. As much as I want to let her fly, Ooh. I don't know if I'll be able to let go when the time comes. Maybe I'll panic, get in the way, hold her down. All to keep her safe. Oh, Marlene. I wish you could be my baby girl forever.
Ball the chunk ball. I, I stay on the mission. Probably stay on the mission, right? How far? Walking across the world here, man. Oh, my sweet baby girl. What now? Your daddy. Your silly daddy. He's gonna... He's gonna fail you! Oh, I can't let you go! I just can't! Barrett, get your shit together. Marlene's barely out of diapers. You've got time. Right, right. I'm just getting worked up over nothing. Yeah, she won't be leaving me for a while. Then again... Hey! Yeah, Golden Plume.
Oh, come on. Same Far Cry. You don't need to do this. Stuff to distract you. Oh, hello. Attack into aura that shrouds. I think this is the longest escort mission I've ever done. Looks like we're finally here though. Sam, what are you doing here? <laughs> Came all this way and you're still full of energy. Do I know you? We're Sam's bodyguards. Your mom hired us to keep him safe. And to make sure her boy got his allowance. Keep it. I ain't taking her money. I can make ends meet on my own. Who are they, Dylan? Friends of yours? 
Claire, what are you doing out of bed? You know you need to stay off your feet. I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. Just make sure Sam gets home safe. No, nah, no, nah, I'm not walking the you back. You really are your mother's kid. Got a stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. <sighs> Why don't you hang on to it? This is a fortune. If you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. But as a parent, I'm sure you want to give your kid the best life you can. And in my experience, that don't come cheap. Think it over. That's true. We'll take it. Dilster, what's looking for you, dude? Toby. Sorry, got a little tied up. Hang on, aren't these guys with Avalanche? Rhonda said I might run into you. Avalanche? Wait, you mean they're the ones who blew up those reactors? The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Actually, while you're here, think I could ask no. you for a favor? Seeing as Dylan's uh, situation seems to be taken care of? Yep, it's all good. Excellent. In that case, why don't we step into my office for a chat? Right this way. I don't trust the man who wears a All those willing to fight against Shinra's tyranny are... You mid are the something process. else. When I saw you on the news, I was blown away. Violence isn't the answer. And here you are, lending me a hand. It's literally a dream come true. So, here's the situation. There's this big lighthouse down by the Cape, and someone calling themselves the Merc of Junon has turned it into their hideout or something. A Merc? Oh, are they an acquaintance of yours? No. Anyway, that place has got a killer view. We used to go up there all the time and just chill. But it's too dangerous with all the monsters around, and that merc hasn't done a thing about him. So I was hoping you could do me a solid and convince that merc to help us out. They've done many a good deed in Midgar and all throughout the grasslands. Allegedly, that is. And like, if they're so good at doing good, then why aren't they doing anything now? Yo, you're the best! You know, I just knew I could count on you. So, you gonna help or... Me? You can sniff out trouble. <laughs> I suppose that does make me the most suitable candidate. Oh, pro tip! If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill, too. You might even catch a glimpse of the Great Condor if you're lucky. If you're into that kind of stuff. Oh. I get that we're brand new to the CAS, but handing out flyers and posting signs is getting old quick. A man of many talents.
Dude. Never good at rhythmic games, I'm not gonna lie. No, there's no way. I would like you to play like, Pacific Rim this and get someone else to use the other thing for me. That's so hard. We don't need to do that again. La 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 la. Curious about this old clavier. I'm Dorian, representative of the Piano Outreach Association. It is my duty to support those who liberate music from the page and bring it to life with their performances. I hope you will aid me in my humble mission to spread the joy of the piano to every corner of the world. Would you care to share a performance with me? Spot to put up a post, do you think? Yeah. Get stuff for performing too. Nice. Alright, we got two options for side quests. I think I'm gonna go to this one. Farewell, fellow freedom fighter. Yeah. Bro, well, fare thee well. Number three. Many legends about Phoenix have been passed down. One tells of the great bird scouring the coast in search of a final resting place. A fisherman made it share the warmth of his fire. Phoenix dipped its feathers in the proffered flames, thereby rekindling its fading life force. Alright, so this will be the second one. We need to find two more to fully weaken it. Then we got ourselves some Phoenix materia. Square. X square. X square. all the time, pep talk all the time. Chadley is my hype man. Okay, I think we're gonna go find that condor, right? He's by the lighthouse. Oh. Gonna get me another golden plume. This game is... There's so many ways of distracting you. 
Luckily, this is pretty easy. What the heck's on his bum? Is it like a pumpkin? with this camp. If we're by the lighthouse, we might as well go to the lighthouse. Oh yeah! They certainly poured their energy into the promotional aspect. They'll be thrilled to hear it. Let's go. I'm assuming he's up top. Buy another materia. Mega potions on sale. Ooh, super on sale. I'll just find it. I actually I think they have free one, right? From the yeah, free. At the same time, point four hundred. I don't know. Music be bopping. We 
Give me that AP up. The AP up thing is good. The Queen's Vangle better? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Upgrades for everyone. Don't mind me as I rob you first. Greetings. Kyrie, Merc of Junon. And you are. Oh my gosh, Cloud? Kyrie, what the hell are you doing here? Um, just a little business venture? Grandma went off on another one of her tirades. I swore to myself I'd make a killing outside the city so I could rub it in her face. Oh, I've got it. Why don't you come work for me? I could use another merc and... Not in a million years. And quit calling yourself a merc. You're giving the real ones a bad name. Uh, what even is a merc? Nobody really knows. And besides, arguably this whole mess can be laid at your feet, mister. I came all the way out to Junon to strike it rich, but nobody knows we're here, or even that we exist. Zero publicity, which means zero clients. I mean, this is business 101. Since you suck so bad at self-promotion, I had to pick up the slack and come up with an ad campaign. But like... What's your brand? Tall, blonde, and not interested? Sounds like a one-way ticket to bankruptcy to me. <laughs> Allergies. What? Shut up! This thing can talk? Indeed. Aww! Aren't you just the most adorable boy? Hey, you know, I've always wanted a pet of my own. Come here, come to Mama! Okay, scratch that. Right. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm putting in all this work for us, yet we haven't managed to bring in a single customer. And if we don't get one really soon, your CEO and PR head is as good as done. But not to worry. I put my creative skills to work and came up with this ditty. will be lining up in no time. Wait, monsters? Well, what could have drawn them here? I'm sure your aggressive advertising has nothing to do with it. Please, Cloud, you've got to help me. After all, nobody knows how to take down monsters like a merc. So hire yourself. You're a pro, aren't you? Come on, don't be petty. Oh, I'll even give you some of these. Pass. Wait, our lives are in as much danger as hers now. We have to fight. Oh boy. What's with this music? Just some plans. Come on, get rid of those things already, would ya? I thought you were supposed to be the money in the Relax, okay. Gotcha. That doesn't hurt. You're done. Oh, fire. I got your number. Why didn't my fire attack work? I guess it didn't cost me. You're dead. It's gotta be easy to take it for a merc like you. 
Need to zip it. That's it. <laughs> there. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. These losers ought to be easy pickings for a mark like you. Quick, 
Gotta dig deep. Hey, you ready? Bring it up and down. Can't you see me? Is it getting so lit? Did it make for a great battle? Want some more? Okay, dead death. Okay, tick tock, tick tock. The boss is getting bored, and she's not paying you to have fun out there. That thunder I hear? Suck on this! Yeah. Ooh, got him alive! Time to fry! Come on, get rid of those things already, would ya? I thought you were supposed to be good at your job! Oh, you in trouble now. I'm counting Keep it together. on you. I'm coming. I beg of you, shield them from harm. I saw you take that hit, you know. Oh, you the pro. This might be it. See you soon. Nobody could get past all those uglies. I'm glad you learned something. Oh well. Guess I'll just have to close up shop and clear out. Anyway, I'm gonna split, but I'm sure you can take it from here. Catch you later, fellow Mer. Hey. Wanna leave with Mama? Come on, you know you do. That's a rascal. Okay, you later. I wouldn't wish her on my worst enemy. You and me both. My dudes! I saw the monsters headed your way. I couldn't help but worry. But it looks like I worry for nothing. I should have known Avalanche could hold their own. Out of curiosity, what happened to that Merc? She moved on. Bummer. Well, guess we should get this place cleaned up. Oh, yeah. Rhonda was telling me you do Merc work on the side, too. For real? I can't believe you didn't say anything. Best buds don't keep secrets, you know. But I hope you'll lend me a hand the next time I need help. Stronger elemental manager. Just go up here to heal real quick, like. Okay. I guess we can head towards this photo spot. Chocobo here.